Well, new numbers from the Clark County School District regarding the pre-kindergarten to third grade student survey. 8 News Now reporter Kristen Drummond is live in the newsroom now with a breakdown of those results. Kristen? Well, Denise, the school district revealed earlier this month that 56% of families prefer the hybrid plan and 43% chose distance education. Now, after a public information request, we now know more details about the data. Results show more than 68,000 families with kids up to third grade completed the survey. Every section of town said they preferred hybrid learning over distance education, especially in the Summerlin and Henderson areas by 62 to 38 percent, as you see highlighted here under District A and E. But a majority of students will continue distance education during hybrid learning. The district gave me a breakdown of the cohort numbers. Roughly 21,000 are in cohort A. That group will be in school on Monday and Tuesday and at home the rest of the week. More than 19,000 in cohort B. That is the group in class on Thursday and Friday and around 51,000 will, uh, will be doing distance education in cohort C. Now, Superintendent Jara explained why it doesn't match the survey results. When we sent out the survey, if we didn't receive um, an answer, then we would put them in, uh, in the distance education. That's one. And then parents had a choice. Parents have a choice to decide if they want cohort A, B, and if they decided that they want to change their mind and go to distance education, that's up to the parent choice. Those identifying as Asian, Pacific Islander, and limited English proficient prefer distance education, while the other ethnic groups and students receiving special education services requested hybrid learning, including 67% who identify as Caucasian and about 63% who identify as Native American. The principal at Gareheim Elementary School tells me his staff plans to be flexible and ready just in case more students want to come back once fourth and fifth graders return to the buildings on April 6th. Reporting live in the newsroom, Kristen Drummond, 8 News Now.